So good morning and welcome to the mayor's office on uh, Friday, December 13th. Um, today I'm really pleased uh, to be able to um, launch another initiative in a series of initiatives that we've been working on in my administration during my first term related to technology. Um, I've, uh, I believe for a while that technology is one of the ways uh, that we can improve how we deliver information and services uh, to residents, to businesses, to visitors, um, as well as provide a way for citizens to be able to communicate with their city government. Um, and so we've undergone a number of initiatives around cloud computing and uh, mobile apps uh, and, uh, and, and providing information to people that way. Um, one of our big projects was the city's website. Um, the city uh, last uh, launched its website, redesigned its website in 2005. Um, and this is our current site. Uh, and we um, have a lot of great information that's available on the site. Um, but over time, with advances in uh, technology, both in how websites are designed, in addition to all the other advances in the way people get information through social media, um, through smartphones, through tablets, uh, there's just a, lo a lot of um, new technology that we can bring to a website. So one of the things I did when I got elected was formed a web and IT advisory committee and a website redesign uh, was, was sort of the first item on that list. So we spent um, several, uh, several meetings looking at the current site um, as well as looking at other options that were available to the city, specifically looking at different web vendors um, and different ways that uh, municipal websites can be designed. Um, and so uh, after selecting a vendor and working for many, many uh, weeks uh, and months really uh, to um, create a new City of Northampton site, Today at 12 noon, we'll be effectively flipping the switch um, and, tr and visitors to NorthamptonMA.gov uh, will uh, no longer see our old site. Instead, they will see a newly designed website for the city of Northampton, which I've just pulled up on the screen. Um, uh, you can see it's got a, a totally different look than uh, the previous site. Um, one of the things about the old site was it, it was somewhat long, uh, narrow and very long. You had to scroll a lot to get down and find a lot of information on the home page. With newer websites, the goal is to try to have everything happen right on the screen uh, without having to do a lot of scrolling. Um, you can see visually we've, we've really tried to give it a whole new look. Um, by adding some, col some different color schemes, including uh, the familiar blue and gold, uh, which is obviously Northampton, uh, Northampton High School's colors. Um, we've also tried to give a nod to both of our downtowns, downtown Northampton and downtown Florence, with some, uh, some iconic uh, uh, parts of the downtown Florence uh, landscape, um, cityscape included. Um, we've also tried to make it really easy for people who visit the site to be able to find what they're looking for. So we've created these, um, these major categories, city government, uh, living for people who just want to find out about living in Northampton, visiting, doing business, and then sort of a how do I, which is sort of a quick way if you're looking for something very quickly. Um, when you, when you uh, uh, hover over one of these uh, one of these uh, major headings, like city government, we have these great new, um, you know, pop-up menus that have a lot of all the information nicely organized. So for city government, we've got all the boards and commissions, charters and ordinances, city council, mayor, all of the departments, uh, schools, etc. And the same holds true for living uh, information. Again, if you're new to Northampton, for example, we've got information about you know, how to register your pets, how to sign up for trash and recycling, uh, what are the utility companies that you need to contact for electricity, for cable, how to register to vote. Um, Visiting, obviously uh, visitation and, and tourism is a big part of, of Northampton, so we wanted to provide a lot of good information uh, to visitors to Northampton. So we've got a lot of great 
um, a, a lot of great information, links to a lot of our um, uh, partners in Northampton uh, who provide a lot of information about arts, about galleries, about museums. So anyone who's planning to visit Northampton could easily find information, including parking information, uh, which we've put up there uh, for them. Doing business. Economic development has been a major focus of my administration. So we wanted to put that right out front on the main page that we wanted to have um, uh, people, either local, current local businesses or people that may be new to the area who are looking to do business in Northampton, a quick portal so that they could access uh, the business resources that we try to provide um, to businesses, whether it's um, as simple as uh, finding out, you know, what are the rules and regulations for opening a business, um, how to access job, job training, um, and some of the other resources like the financial incentives that we offer businesses. And by going here, they can get right in touch with uh, the city's economic development director. How do I? How do I is sort of an all-purpose. Uh, you have a question, how do I apply for a building permit? How do I, uh, how do I find a certain department? How do I register for a license or register to vote? Um, how do I view election results? This is going to grow over time. We're going to be able to increase um, the number of these kinds of categories. But this is just a quick way for people to, uh, to find information quickly if they have a specific question. The other thing I would note is right up at the top of the page, we have a search engine. Uh, the previous site did not actually have an integrated search engine. Um, uh, so we put a search engine right up on top. So if you come to the site, you know what you're looking for, you want to just put a search in and find it, you can find it. Um, we've also got all the popular social media uh, buttons here. So for Facebook, for Twitter, uh, YouTube, uh, you, you know, you click on YouTube um, and you'll be taken, it'll take you to NCTV, which has a great collection of all of our uh, YouTube videos related to city government. Um, the other nice thing that we have are these widgets, and we try to set up a number of, of key widgets for the different modules that the site offers. Um, the site has a number of different modules that are designed specifically for the work that we do in municipal government. So the first one, make a request. Um, this will allow citizens who have a specific request uh, whether it's um, you know reporting a pothole, reporting a broken street light, reporting a broken parking meter, et cetera, on their street, to be able to file that request um, and then be able to interact with the relevant city department about getting that request fixed. Um, there's also a mobile app for request tracker, uh, so people like iPhone users like me can download that app. Um, and I should also mention that the site is. Uh, viewable on a tablet or on a, um, a, on a smartphone. So it, 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 it converts itself to be viewed in that format. So Request Tracker is a great way uh, for people who want to report something to, to city government. Notify Me, uh, this is another important uh, module. Um, we have a, a lot of folks who want to be um, stay abreast of things that are happening in the city, want to receive notices of meetings that are happening, want to receive notices of bid postings, for example. So this is a way that users of the site can, can log in, create a login uh, code, and then they can actually sign up to receive notifications either by email or by text message. Um, pretty much any, any kinds of information that we're adding to the site. So everything is specific. If you want to know if there's been a job posted in public safety, uh, we can alert you to that. If you want to just get the agendas for uh, you know, the Committee on Public Safety, uh, you can sign up to receive agendas for the Committee on Public Safety, and on and on and on. So it really allows uh, we, um, users uh, to be able to say, I want to be kept abreast of different things that are happening, and they can customize that. We also have um, a city jobs module, which is sort of our online HR. Uh, so uh, for people that are interested in working for the city and want to be able to uh, find out 
uh, what jobs are currently open in the city. They can visit the city jobs module, and you can see we've got you know, four, four positions that are posted right now. The other nice feature um, is that the new site offers online application. Uh, so previously, if you were applying for a job at HR, you could um, download and print an application that you'd have to fill out and, and either scan an email in or submit by mail or in person. There's now an actual online application that you can fill out online, um, provide all the relevant information, and then submit it. Um, and that's, uh, again, a way that we're trying to streamline the way that, uh, that, that folks interact with city government. Similar to HR, we have a bids and RFPs module. Um, so uh, for folks who are interested in doing business with the city, selling goods and services to the city, this is a way to uh, find out what things that the city is out to bid on. Uh, so f right now we have a bid open for uh, the City of Northampton Board of Public Works is inviting sealed bids for administration of the city's cross-connection program. Uh, and so, you know, if we go out to bid for construction services, we go out to bid for, for certain um, uh, capital items, these are the kinds of things that people could check on to find out what's available um, if they want to bid on them. And there's a whole process for, for getting more information about the bid, man, uh, staying track of the bid process. You can see that it's currently open. It closes on January 6th. Um, not only helping the public, but it also will help our employees to be able to manage these processes using technology. Pay online. A lot of people want to pay for things online as opposed to mailing checks in. Um, so we have a pay online module that allows uh, uh, through uh, Unipay, which is a third party provider, for people to be able to pay their excise tax, their water bills, their real estate tax using either a credit card or by debiting their checking account. Um, so that's, a, that's another uh, convenience feature that a lot of people want. A really unique feature um, that I think uh, is, is, is really a cool feature for the site is something called My Dashboard. Again, it allows a user uh, to log into the system uh, and to basically be able to create a customized uh, website um, for their purposes. Um, so if you're somebody who likes to track the city calendar, likes to track uh, what's happening in a certain department, you can literally, you, you're given a blank canvas and you can arrange the dashboard, your own personalized dashboard for how you view the city website using the My Dashboard feature. Um, so that's a really uh, unique feature uh, that we didn't have before that will really allow people to customize the way they experience the site. Another great feature uh, which uh, I think is going to really fit in with the ethic of community engagement and community conversation in Northampton is something called community voice. Community voice is actually not city driven. It's driven by uh, residents and by visitors to the site. Again, people who log into the site um, have the opportunity to be able to start discussions online about, about um, ideas that they have, um, initiatives. So, um, for example, a community member could propose an idea that, you know, should Northampton have a, a dog park uh, somewhere in the city, a new dog park, or should we have um, you know, a skating rink or something like that? And it allows uh, users to be able to engage in a conversation about these issues. Meanwhile, it allows city government to be sort of part of that conversation and possibly be able to think about are there ways we can implement some of those ideas that come out of that community conversation. Um, so, so that's another, uh, another unique feature of this new site um, that, I think, uh, th that I think makes it uh, a, a, real, a, a real upgrade. C the calendar function, uh, one of the main things people want to know, we've got meetings going on every night. We also have a requirement under the open meeting law uh, to post all of the meetings and other um, public meetings that are happening. So this is right front and center on the website. Um, you've got a, a, you've got a, a calendar. Um, you've got all the upcoming meetings that are happening. So today, for example, there's gonna be a meeting of the Northampton Prevention Coalition. I can click on that event. Um, it'll take me to uh, more information about that event, including where it's happening, including I can download a copy of the agenda for the event. 
Um, I, can, um, I can map where the event's taking place. Um, and then uh, the calendar module itself has a whole host of ways that people can filter and say, just show me all the planning board meetings for the next year or just show me meetings that are happening the week of X. So there's a lot of ways that people can use the calendar function, much like a Google Calendar, uh, to be able to customize and search for um, different meetings that are happening. In addition to the uh, city calendar, there's also an events calendar, which uh, allows um, uh, us to be able to publish community-related events that are happening separate from the official uh, city meeting. So things like Arts Night Out that's happening tonight in the city, you know, we have here on the calendar and people can get information about that. Finally, in the center area, we've just got some, uh, some areas for sort of breaking news kinds of items. We've got the news flash area. Uh, which has um, information on sort of the hot topics that are happening in the city. So you can see stormwater and flood control uh, utility and ordinance. A lot of people are talking about that right now. So that's the type of issue that we would put um, there. Uh, we've also just got some other information about the site itself. We've got a spotlight section so we can spotlight certain events that are happening in the city. Obviously first night is a couple of weeks away um, and a lot of people um, you know, are interested not only live in Northampton but from around the valley in what's happening in first night so we can spotlight those kinds of things. Uh, there's a welcome from the mayor which has information about the city and, and takes you to the mayor's office um, as well. Um, and then we've got this little rotating gallery of photographs which we'll, we'll be changing and adding over time, which just allows us to be able to give a little bit of a visual sense of, of the city um, and you know, not only the, 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 um, the, uh, the diverse, the, really the diversity of our community, the, the downtowns as well as the beautiful urban space, uh, rural spaces that we have in the city. So that's an uh, ability to do that. You know, down here we've got a number of contact information, um, uh, helpful links about accessibility, uh, and then some of the other um, things that sites have, uh, disclaimers, site maps, those kinds of things. Um, and each department has been working hard over the last few weeks um, to be able to go in and repopulate their departmental websites um, on this new city site. Uh, so for example, if you go uh, to the building commissioner's office, um, Actually, let's go to planning and sustainability. That's a, that's a site that many people visit. You'll see that uh, the planning and sustainability site is there. Uh, you've got all kinds of contact information. <clears throat> you've got quick links to uh, some of the hot topics that are happening in the planning department. You've got immediate access over here um, to all of the various uh, boards and committees that are part of planning and sustainability, um, all the different initiatives that they're working on, um, as well as you know, continued access to those widgets that are on the home page. Um, so that's really a quick overview of the new site. Uh, we're really, um, really excited about it. Um, and, I, and I have to take the opportunity to thank a lot of people who were involved in making this new site a reality. Um, first, I would thank the members of the um, Web and IT Advisory Committee um, who, who worked with me and my administration to really sort of give us input and advice on what direction we should be going with the city's website. Um, I have to thank <clears throat> Lynn Simmons of my staff who's really um, kind of been the, the project leader for this whole initiative. It's a very complex initiative that involves you know, hardware, software, training, coordinating a lot of things, and she's really been the point person for that. Vanessa Aquendo, who's our MIS director, um, and her staff who've helped us work on all the technical aspects of this transition and worked with um, our vendor Civic Plus uh, to be able to make this a reality. And then really all of our city departments and staff who've worked hard over the last several weeks and months. They've undergone trainings uh, to learn the new system. Um, and then they've spent a lot of time uh, repopulating their sites, uh, their information onto their new departmental web pages. So it's been a, it's been a huge effort, uh, but it's been a team effort. And I think that, uh, I think the citizens of Northampton can be really proud of this new website. Um, that not only you know, is attractive looking, but it's extremely accessible, um, it's extremely uh, 
Uh, it's, it's got lots of great information, and it makes visiting Northampton online uh, a very easy thing and very easy to navigate and very intuitive. So I'm proud to announce this today. Uh, people who go onto the site effective at noon today should see the new site. It may take a little while for, it to mi for parts of it to migrate, uh, but that's the, that's the start time. So thank you all for coming, and, uh, and you know, fire up your computers and take a tour and let us know what you think about it.